today's video, I'm going to be replacing the thermostat housing with a thermostat on this Colorado. First thing we're going to do is drain the coolant. There's no drain pickcock on these radiators, so you're going to go ahead and just take off the lower radiator hose and try to catch as much fluid as you can. With the coolant drained, I jacked up the front end of the truck, put it on a jack stand, took out all the plugs that hold the splash shield onto the truck. Then you follow up this lower radiator hose and it goes right to the thermostat. So we're gonna go ahead and unbolt it. 10 millimeter. Got our new thermostat housing. We're gonna go ahead and install it. Eighty nine inch pounds. Gonna route our hose back in. All right, install the lower radiator hose. Now we can go ahead and fill up the radiator. I got this funnel system to go ahead and bleed the radiator. I'm gonna start the truck. Put the heat on high to bleed the heater core. And we'll just watch the temp. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and monitor engine cooling temperature. So we'll keep an eye on that and make sure it doesn't overheat. And then periodically I'm gonna come over here just making sure that it's topped off. Make sure your reservoir is full. As you can see, we're getting heat out of the vents. So we know the heater core is bled. And we're holding temp right in the middle. And it's been about 20 minutes since I started the truck. We'll go ahead and take the funnel off, put it in the radiator cap, and go for a drive. All right, drove it around town for about 10 miles or so. Got back home, let it idle for another 15 minutes. She's holding temp at 212, so we're good to go. That's how you change the thermostat on these Colorados. Hopefully, the video helped you out. Y'all have a good one.